Crypto never sleeps and neither do I, well barely. We are going to run through the latest and above all most important cryptocurrency news. I'm condensing hours and hours of research to hopefully save you time and help you make the best decisions in cryptocurrency or at least just stay up to date. Quick Voscoin update, we are pushing forward with a limited edition collaboration with Evergreen, largely because they've had a compression update boosting their profitability by 20%. And spoiler, we are working on an even higher level of compression for our collaboration unit. Uh, it's basically hard drive mining, you're farming Chia. We've actually made this thread several months ago. We wanted to only move forward when we were really confident in the product and we're getting there. I'm also getting pretty serious about hard drive mining as my hard drive mining shed is supposed to come over the next week. I've already got it wired up in here. Uh, 200 amp service, gonna use uh, actually a mini splits to cool this. I'm pretty excited. It's going to be nearly plug and play and I am hopeful to have this fully operational worst case scenario by the end of the month. Uh, so big stuff happening. Very excited to continue building out, building out the arm of Bosscoin mining. But I'll leave it at that. If you want one of these miners, grab one today with our link out in the video description below or hang around for the limited edition collaboration, which I'm hoping will be like maybe a month out. But TBD, don't hold me to that. The SEC asked Coinbase to halt trading in everything except Bitcoin. Wow, saying that every crypto is a security other than Bitcoin. Wow. The Securities and Exchange Commission also charged Richard Hart, the founder of the crypto project Hex, with allegedly conducting an unregistered securities offering that raised more than $1 billion. They also named Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex. So what did that do to the hexagons? And, and, and that's not a racist term or anything. Uh, some of them call themselves that, uh, which I think is fun. I think that's a fun one. Um, Hex, I mean, they have a very big tribal mentality. Very like, look at us, go, 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 we're the best, you suck, um, kind of thing. Um, and I'm not hating or supporting that, just kind of touching on that. Uh, so it's down, it's down pretty big. Down 40% in the last 14 days, down 88% in the last year, down 99% from its all-time high. Uh, but depending when you got in and you're staking and the big hex payday and all that stuff, a lot of people have made a lot of money with this. But just like many things, others have also gotten blown up on their spot. There's also hex on Pulse Chain, which is trading at this price point and down 64% from its all-time high, which it hit 19 days ago, doing millions of dollars in trading volume here. And hex, uh, the main token here, doing millions of dollars of trading volume here as well. It's gonna be an interesting one, but the bad news kind of keeps ripping along as a, another judge out of one of the worst states in the country, I'd say second probably only to California, New York. Uh, it's pretty much the California of the East Coast. But hey, you know, what do I know? I'm just a Southern boy. But seriously, right, he's basically saying that you can't make a distinction between institutional sales and sales to retails. Uh, and pretty much pulling back and saying that Ripple's a security and the other judge is wrong. Not good news. And this is a key piece in Coinbase's fight against the SEC. How does XRP feel about that? 79% down from its all-time high, which happened in 2018. One of the only cryptocurrencies did not hit a new all-time high in the previous bull market. It's still up 43% over the last 30 days, 84% over the last year, beating many cryptocurrencies in a one year uh, price return. Uh, on the heels of this recent news, XRP is relatively unfaced. I mean, we look at it's trading 72 cents, now it's trading 69 cents. I'm actually surprised that this didn't invoke some kind of dump, but I don't know. It's We're, we're dealing with a weird suppressed cryptocurrency market that it is just very lackluster and you're dealing with a lot of people in this market that are either institutional investors or they've already been through the shit and they're here to stay they're here to party just like you watching this video i mean you can't shake me the u.s can say the crypto's banned well f you we're gonna keep on cryptoing all right 
Do you want some free Bitcoin? How about $10 for free in Bitcoin? I don't want anything from you other than you to support the sponsor of today's video by clicking their link in the video description below. You can attend their workshop, which is free. And after you basically watch the video, you'll get $10 of BTC. What do they do though? Several things. In particular, their WaveBot trading program has been working very well, reportedly. This isn't financial advice. You don't have to buy anything. They don't need your credit card number. Worst case scenario, you spend a little bit of your time and you get $10 of Bitcoin. Best case, maybe you find something you want to get started using. As always, do your own research. It's not financial advice. But Coinbase stock is doing very well as well, surprisingly. So we look at on the day, it's down 5%. Who cares? Several months ago, I was really trying to just illustrate how valuable I think Coinbase is and why I was personally buying into their coin stock. Disclosure, I have coin. Uh, the coin was trading around $30 a coin. It's up 3x from then, and it's up 22% just in the last month. If you bought it three months ago, you'd be up a cool 76%. Those are better returns than many cryptocurrencies, and you're in a platform like Robinhood, which has a decent track record, has a good track record, I'd say. Um, you know, as a lot of people try to get away from holding their coins on centralized exchanges, Trading stocks is an alternative that's not necessarily backed by anything, but you're dealing with older or maybe more established players, and you're just unlikely to basically get FTX'd, uh, you know, if you will. And again, I'm not saying that that's foolproof or you're guaranteed or anything like that. Nothing's guaranteed. Not your keys, not your coins, not your, not your stocks. Well, that, that, that doesn't really make any sense, but that's the game everyone plays. Next is going to be solving the blockchain trilemma. Offchain Labs talks about how solving this would be a huge breakthrough. They need to inspire developers. Basically, they boast that the industry is not close to solving this at all. Who is Offchain Labs? If you look at this, you may figure it out. Offchain Labs is contributing to Arbitrum and Pry Labs to scale Ethereum. So unfortunately, we are still going to be waiting for a true scalable blockchain, right? Well, good news since Coinbase is trying to build that. Bad news is that there was a meme coin called Bald launched on that, and it may have potential ties to Alameda Research. Winner mute researcher finds. The crypto community comes to terms with the Bald meme coin's apparent rug pull, an act that caused Bald's market value to plummet. On chain analysts are examining what the hell happened here, right? The token attracted significant attention within the crypto sphere massing a mark cap of 85 million and then an abrupt liquidity withdrawal made the price nosedive almost to zero resembling the features of a rug pool a deceptive strategy where key developers or holders siphon off liquidity causing the tokens price to collapse right what was interesting is igor here found that uh the ball deployer this is the address or really like the person or team or just entity that deployed the smart contract address or basically, you know, turned this crypto coin token on, created it, minted it, birthed it, if you will. This deployer was connected to Alameda Research, the former research and trading arm and really just Ponzi arm of the collapsed FTX exchange. There was considerable activity on Oasis, OX, DYDX, set protocol, basically huge capital and you start to connect the dots and it starts to look like we need to go pay Sam Bankman fried all of our money a visit. How could we be so dumb to ever trust SBF to any degree? Bank is in his name. We're literally here to destroy the banks. Another wallet enters the scene. Uh, this address exhibited on-chain behavior typical of FTX. This was based on the same use of the same FTX deposit address here. Uh, this was the second wallet was also a major trader on DYDX and played a role in the early sushi swap proposals and also received a Pope NFT from urine launch, allocated substantial amounts of two farm tokens on compounds, sushi swap, cream, Stargate. These activities align with FTX's typical DeFi operations, which was unfortunately them utilizing customers funds to milk the DeFi ecosystem. If you think of, FTX and Alameda Research, they are essentially like the antichrist of cryptocurrency. There's nothing good about that scum. Speaking of smart contracts and risks, Consensus has released fuzzing, a, 
uh, probably a terrible name. I'm just thinking of a Furby looking at a smart contract. What's a tool to automate smart contract security testing process? So you log in, you check it out. It's it's much more technical. It's it's really suited more towards say like developers, right? As opposed to a you know just website contract scanner like we've talked around talked about in recent history. Uh, Stargate was mentioned in that article. I have some STG. I was like, oh, let me check their contract, see what that looks like. So I go over to CoinGecko. I grab the contract address here for this cryptocurrency token. I go over to d.fi slash scanner, or I go to app.quickintel.io, and I punch the address in. Uh, so this is a basically free contract scanner if you're trying to get into the deep end of cryptocurrency with new crazy emerging tokens, right? We get quick data. When was this deployed? How old it is? How many token holders? DeFi score, which is basically their own ranking system. We look at all these good things, right? No mintable risks, you know, check, 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 check. Good, good, good. Basically, nothing's coming back really bad. We see a lot of liquidity. A lot of that liquidity is locked. A lot of that is on curve, which was ironically just exploited. Another piece of recent news. Um, and, you know, you just see other data like that. Basically, this looks good. This checks out. You go over to Quick Intel and you punch this in. Uh, you know, here we can see some more information. It's not a honeypot. Honey pot. Uh, it is not a renounced contract, but that's just something to be aware of. That's not necessarily a bad thing. They can pause trading, but I guess if you think about it, why would they do that? Uh, so there is a warning um, on that one. And you see some quick data, especially on chain data. Uh, as far as the liquidity pair that it analyzed here on Uniswap, very low trading volume which that's not really a good sign, but there's much more to this token than just that liquidity pair. It's traded on many centralized exchanges now. For example, Binance did over $3 million in volume uh, for it alone. We can look at additional trading pairs down here. I mean, STG is traded on a lot of things on a lot of chains. Uh, sometimes there's not significant volume there. Uh, so just something to understand and be aware of if you're getting into cryptocurrencies or really just even as like a, a drill to learn more and be safe, run these contracts through these scanners like this is free I, I don't pay anything for this quick intel has uh free access as well i have the premium version but if i recall i think it just takes like the ads off um or maybe it gives me a little bit more information the bottom line is what they give you free is enough to get by and again DeFi scanner is completely free i don't have any affiliation i just wanted to do better research you know as we really dive deep into many different cryptocurrencies and new tokens on the daily uh, so speaking about on the daily, if you like this content, I hope you subscribe and stick around to the Boscoin YouTube channel because if for no other reason, I have the cutest dog in the world and no disrespect to other dog owners, pup parents and things like that out there, but this is Tails. And we do 10 seconds of Tails on every video. And she's right here looking at me now. And Tails, you know you're a good girl. You know what we should do? You want a treat? I think you need a treat. I think I need a glass of water. And on that note, I'm going to head out. Thanks for watching.